I'll just Joe Ansel here with a look at your national forecast on this Tuesday, May 12th. Hopefully you're doing well. Keep washing your hands. Keep not touching your face. Social distance as best you can. Wear that mask, mask safely and responsibly as well. Now, highs today are still below averages for the likes of New York City near 59. Phoenix, another day rising up in the mid-90s, near 95 for you folks out there. From Billings, St. Louis to New York City, temps will be topping below averages. For the southwest, some of us, a break of the heat today. Las Vegas, you're at 85, but still some 90s from Tucson to Phoenix, still heating up today. And also potential for wildfire type weather uh, with elevated to critical wildfire threats, including Santa Fe, Flagstaff, Phoenix, Phoenix uh, south of Salt Lake City. So no outside burning today as red flag warnings and fire weather watches are out in areas of the Four Corners in southern Nevada, including Las Vegas. And you are also under a wind advisory today for wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour generally. Waking up to a widespread frost or freeze from Minneapolis to Chicago, areas of southern New England. I'm sure a lot of folks protected plants in the garden or crops before they fell asleep last night. Out west, general area low pressure with multiple fronts mingling around with uh, the mountainous higher elevation areas will gain strength over the next couple of days. And we we'll have to watch out for multiple rounds of severe weather in areas of the central and southern plains. Actually, Wyoming, a couple areas of Texas, marginal risks of severe weather today. Widespread severe weather is possible for central and southern areas of the plains for tomorrow. As we zoom into the south central region and similar areas, marginal slight risk of severe weather out for Thursday. In terms of snow, we are watching for that as well. <laughs> Happy spring. Areas in northern Maine today, an additional three or more inches of snow near the Canadian border and some heavier snow in some of the mountainous areas of Wyoming and Montana are possible. So again, today, areas of Texas, we are watching for storms having the capability of large hail, damaging winds. San Antonio be weather aware today and we'll watch for some more widespread severe weather to develop Wednesday.